When it comes to Season of Discovery, Phase 2 is giving us a lot more fun and interesting things to find in the world besides just the classrooms. One of these items is the cozy sleeping bag. You've probably seen these scattered about the world since Phase 2 started, and in this video I'm going to explain what it does and more importantly how to get it. The cozy sleeping bag is a reusable item that places a sleeping bag on the ground in front of the player. If you or other players in your party stand on top of it, your characters will lie down and fall asleep. If you stay on the bag for a full minute, you'll receive a buff that increases the XP you gain by 1% for 2 hours. This effect can stack up to 3 times for a total of 3% if you remain in the sleeping bag for a full 3 minutes. Also, once the sleeping bag is placed, it has a 2 hour and 45 minute cooldown before you can drop it again. And as I just mentioned, the buff only lasts for 2 hours, so you won't be able to keep the buff up 100% of the time unless you have a friend who doesn't mind getting cozy with you in their sleeping bag. Now for the important part, how to actually get the cozy sleeping bag. There is a difference between the Horde and the Alliance, but that difference is only that steps 1 and 2 are switched depending on your faction. If you're on the Alliance, step 1 will be to head over to Westfall at the Alexton Farmstead. The waypoint is at 3750, and the location on the map is right here. There will be some burned out remains that you'll click on to begin the quest. Step 2 will be to head over to the Barrens just south of Camp Tarajo at waypoint 4674. You'll also find some burned out remains here, click on them and continue to the next quest. For the Horde, you'll come to this one first in the Barrens and then you'll go to the one in Westfall. The rest of these steps from here on out are the same for both factions. For step 3, travel to the Stone Talon Mountains and follow the main road through the zone to waypoint 5152, just north of the Sunrock Retreat, and follow the path up into the mountains to find the abandoned campsite. Click on the pocket litter, select either the mining pick or the shovel to complete that quest, and accept the next one. Step 4 will be to head north up this hill between these two peaks, and once you drop down, you'll go slightly to the right and find the mound of dirt here. You should be able to find it pretty easily. Click on it to complete the quest and accept the next one. Step 5 will be taking us all the way over to the northern part of Loch Modan at the Giant Dwarven Dam, specifically this ledge at roughly waypoint 4913. Hop down to the platform and click on the eagle figurine to progress to the next quest. And step 6 will finally take us to our last location and that's going to be in Hillsbrad Foothills, right on the edge of the zone at Thoradin's Wall. Waypoint 8750. When you see a broken wagon leaning against the wall, you'll know you found the right place. You're going to use the wagon as sort of a jumping puzzle to get up here onto the wall. Once you get onto this part, head up the broken part here up to this little hallway and follow it out onto the balcony where there will be a messenger bag hanging on the wall. Click on it to get to the next quest and then click on the rolled up satchel underneath it to complete the final quest and receive your very own cozy sleeping bag. Not only will completing this quest chain give you the sleeping bag, but if you've been paying attention to your inventory along the way, you'll notice a new consumable called Student Fodder, which will give you a big chunk of rested status to your experience bar whenever you use one. Overall, this whole process took me about 45 minutes to complete on my mage, and a little over an hour on my warlock. I didn't really optimize or plan my routes, so hopefully that gives you a rough estimate of just how long it'll take you to complete this. I actually had a lot of fun doing this little quest line and making this guide, so I just wanted to give a shout out to the devs on this one. To me, fun little side quests like this are what Season of Discovery is all about. The sleeping bag is a fun way to have interactions with other players, and I really hope we keep seeing things like this pop up as the phases progress. Well, that just about does it for this video. If you found the information helpful, let me know in the comments or leave a like on the video and subscribe if you want. Until next time guys, I'll see you later.